Hello, 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 and a very warm welcome to Sports Lumo Special Olympic Series: 50 Greatest Olympic Moments for India. I am Siddharth Vishwanathan, editor in chief of SportsLumo.com, and I will be taking you along this magnificent journey of India's greatest Olympic moments in their Olympic history. In this special episode, I am going to focus upon one particular hockey magician. His skills and his prowess totally dazzled the world. It did not even spare the Führer of Germany, Adolf Hitler. The 1936 Berlin Olympics was really controversial for a multiple of reasons. First, the rise of Nazi Germany and the irrationality that was spreading around Europe. The Games were an exhibition for Hitler to showcase his dominance and his power. The Games was also a platform to show that Hitler's Aryan supremacy was indeed the way to go. But his Aryan supremacy theory was blown to smithereens by two individuals. One was African-American Jesse Owens, who won four gold medals. The other was an Indian. He had already helped India win the 1928 and 1932 gold medals in hockey. He was aiming for a third. The brilliance of Dhyan Chand, the wizardry of this man, was so great that Hitler offered him a proposal which many individuals might have not been able to reject that easily. This is the fascinating story of how Dhyan Chand bedazzled Adolf Hitler in the 1936 Berlin Olympics. It is without a doubt that Dhyan Chand is the greatest ever in the game of hockey. 570 goals in 185 games, meaning an average of 3 goals per match. That is almost machine-like. 1928 and 1932 saw India scale hockey heights which no other nation had even thought about. The 1936 Berlin Olympics was going to be no different. Dhyan Chand was in excellent form and India had reached the final where they would face off, hold your breath, against Germany. The stakes were incredibly high. Before the final, the Indian team were very tense. Adolf Hitler was going to visit the stadium. He was going to personally see the match. Germany could upset India by the sheer magnitude of Hitler's presence and the fans that were there in Berlin. In the final, Dhyan Chand and India put up a masterful display of hockey. Things became so perfect that Dhyan Chand wanted to increase his speed. He wanted to take the Germans by surprise. He removed his stockings, he removed his shoes, played barefooted and he managed to outwit the Germans. He had already scored 10 goals before, now he was going to add more to his kit. Dhyan Chand and his brilliance ensured that India had finally secured the hat-trick of gold medals. It was truly a magnificent spectacle. However, on the German side, not everything was great. Adolf Hitler was so incensed by the performance of the German hockey team that he left the stadium at halftime. However, gritting his teeth, he came back and awarded the medals to both the Indian and the German teams. India had celebrated a hat-trick of gold medals. But the story was not done, folks. Dhyan Chand's journey was about to begin in a very dramatic manner. After the final, a note was given to him. That note could have potentially altered the history of sport and also the destiny of India and Germany. After the end of the final, the Indian team was celebrating well into the night. The morning of the next day was a very, very intriguing phase in Dhyan Chand's life. There was a note outside his hotel room. The note had a simple instruction. Adolf Hitler wanted to meet Dhyan Chand. Dhyan Chand was worried. Hitler had a very brutal reputation of shooting his rivals. 
or he shot anybody who did not agree with me. Tian Chen was wondering whether I am going to be killed, but he had to meet the Führer. That was the order. He went, but to his surprise, Adolf Hitler greeted him very warmly, and he proceeded to talk to Tian Chen about his hockey skills. Later on, the Führer made a very interesting proposition. He told Tian Chen. come to germany i will make you a citizen join the german army i will make you one of the top colonels hitler had remarked about dian chen's background and he said that he was serving in the army as well imagine dian chen shifting his allegiance to germany from india it would have meant a bit of comfort but it could have also meant plenty of other risks dian chen politely said he could not afford to shift to germany at that time there were a lot of complications lot of issues but instead of getting furious adolf hitler calmly agreed and he said all right with a smile he let dian chen go such was the brilliance of dian chen folks that even the furor could not get angry at a proposal which might have been very mouth watering for several other individuals but dian chen the magician was the greatest of all time because of this 1936 berlin reached the crescendo for india hockey it was the ultimate zenith the war stopped india's dominance but they continued their winning streak even after the war thank you so much folks for joining us for the special episode of sports lumos 50 greatest olympic moments for india press the subscribe button tap the bell icon like comment share and spread the love folks we will be back with more special episodes in the coming days thank you so much